Hey all, RW down here in the Mountain Storm shop. This video is going to show you how to take a 25 cent target load and convert it into a slug. Hey, this video is uh, being created with the help of a longtime subscriber of mine. Uh, let's just call him Michael. Michael sent me a package. He's been a longtime subscriber because he refers to me as the Mod God. Which really brings me back in time. So what we've got here are 7 8 Lee slugs. These are slugs you cast yourself from a Lee mold. So they're not very expensive, like 30, 40 bucks for the mold. What you can do is you can harvest shot from inexpensive target loads like this. This is like a 25 cent target load, right? You use my shell prepper tool to cut it open like a can opener, right? You end up with a crimp bead that's left intact, okay? And the only problem that you encounter, if you just were to slip one straight in, and this is not a big problem, is that there's a space, okay, because the slug is so short. Okay, it's a 7 8 slug going into a 1 and an eighth ounce wad, so of course it's going to be a little small. Okay, all I would do in this case is just cap it off with wax or hot glue. It's really no big deal. But you can take it one step further and make a kind of a proper load that looks like this doesn't shake at all everything's perfect in it by taking a piece of three dollar foam board you get a 20 by 30 inch piece from Walmart for three bucks uh, you just take the you take the slug right and you just press it down on it I'm, I'm using two wads you can use one and it does seem it does seem to work but because this is foam board and it's so darn soft I'm using two so you can see the lead you know how we call pencils pencil lead? Well, they actually did use lead way back in the day for writing because it leaves a little mark on a light surface. And so here you go, using the lead to actually make the mark. You don't have to get super high tech with this, okay? It's just going to be expelled out of the barrel of a shotgun, so you don't have to make this into a work of art here. And you don't have to have a lot of skill to make these. Just a pair of scissors or a knife or a sharp metal pipe that was the right size and you could punch them out. Anyway, so here you go. It's probably a little too big to fit in there. There we go. All right, and then you just push them down in there. With your little finger, very high tech, right? Super high tech. And then all you do is you just put the, the flat nose of the least slug on your table and you make sure that it feeds in perfectly straight. This is be. I should make up some sort of a lever tool to do this. It's really not a lot of effort to do it. They pop right in. Okay. It kind of looks a little obscene when it's poking out like that. But then once it's in there, it still looks kind of obscene. But we're never going to look at that part. We're just going to look at what it does. So you can see it does not deform the side of the hull whatsoever. It doesn't do anything to change the shape of it. And now you've got your own professional kind of looking slug here instead of like a waxer where you've made wax. So you show up at the range with these, anybody would want to shoot them. They're low recoil, not going to hurt their shoulder, and they're going to blow stuff up big time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, if you put them in there just without a wad, you're going to have to do something to secure them down against the wad. But if you do it with the poster board, hey, win. I want to thank my my friend Michael for sending me these Lee slugs, and I'll show uh, the, the the effect of these blowing stuff up shortly. This is so awesome, man! I really appreciate you doing this. Makes me want to run out and buy a Lee slug mold right away, because all you need is a frying pan and a camp stove, and you can melt lead. And you get the Lee slug, and you use your spoon, and you just pour it right in there. You're good to go, man. It's simple stuff, cheap, easy to do. And then, of course, you'd want a shell prepper. You can get one of these from me by contacting me at rw underscore k-e-e-t-o-n at yahoo.com. They're $35 shipped anywhere in the U.S. I ship internationally, unquote. Thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for your comments, likes, and subscriptions. And I really appreciate this kind of engagement with the projects that I'm doing. This is what I really look forward to is that one-to-one -one engagement in my community.